Hello and welcome back guys. Okay, so now what we want to do is load a controller. Okay, so like if you remember previously, I had said something like, uh, um, I had said something like any uh, table in the database that you want should have a model. Okay, in the same way, every page should have a controller. So controllers are for pages, models are for tables. Okay. So every single page you have must have a controller of some kind. It's not every page that you have a view, but a controller is a must. So the way we've seen here, this zero should be the controller that we load. So to make things easier, what we're going to do is whatever the name of the controller here is what we're going to name our file. That way it's easy to load a file. We don't need to know what the file name will be uh, as long as the user types it there, we'll get a file name named exactly that. Okay, so in this case, when we are looking for profile, we're looking for the profile page. So in this case, let's try home page. So there is home right there. So let's tell the controller, let's create a controller here that we're going to be using that will do this for us. So let's come back here. And what I want to do now is Let's move things a notch further. So here at the very top, I'm going to write something like protected. Now this can be public, it can be private, or it can be protected. So I'll use protected so that we can inherit it later if we want. So if these terms are confusing for you, don't worry. They are not really that necessary at this point. Um, just put what I put there, or you can watch my uh, tutorial my course on OOP but really what we are saying is we just want it really doesn't matter at this point uh, we just don't want this thing to be accessed from outside the class that's where we are protecting it but we want it inheritable so here is the controller now I want to put a default controller name which is home just so in case whatever the user types in there is not found, is not a valid controller name, then we're going to revert to the normal one, which is home. Okay, there we go. So if we can't find the page, maybe we can change it instead and say the default is, um, what would be the default? Maybe the 404 instead, so that it's page not found, right? So let's do that instead. Let's put a 404 as the default one so that we know page not found. Now, the thing is, um, we can't start a, we can't start an, a class name because these controllers will be class names. We can start a class name with, um, what's this, a number. So we have to put an underscore there, something like that, just so we can, uh, can we put an underscore in a file? Okay, so I want to just check to see, let me right click here and say open containing folder. I just want to make sure that we can have a file name with an underscore, that's all. Okay, that seems fine. All right, good. So if that's true, then no problem. Let's use that underscore here. So underscore 404, just to avoid starting with a number because we can't really put a, a, a number there as a, the starting point for a class. Okay, so that's fine. So this means if we don't find a controller, we'll go to the 404 page. So that's okay. And then uh, let's see here, controller. So we have that controller here. So what I want to do is get the very first item from here, okay? So what I'll do is this, let me go down here and I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to set this to a value. So I'm going to call this URL for no reason because it's the URL array. So that's the array from here. So maybe let me call it array so you don't get confused here, what we are doing. That's an array. So we know that the first item always is the page, uh, is the page because if there's nothing on the page, we're going to have the home page, which is nice. And so what we would do is just check if a file with the first item exists. So we know the first item will always be there. So I'm going to say if file exists. So I want to check that file name. So first of all, we need a file name. So let's create that file name. Okay. 
So let me look here. I want to look for a controller that is named with whatever is presented here. Okay. Let's create the file name first of all. So the file name is going to be equal to, now we want to look for the file name inside controllers right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't exist for now, but that's fine. So what I want to do is, first of all, I need to know the path to this. Now, in order to move, now keep in mind that every time we are looking at paths, the path will always be relative to the index page because every single time we are loading the index page, regardless what page we are on, it's the index page. This is what we've done because we've told Apache that whenever you load a URL, just load the index page, regardless what the URL says. So we are always going to be loading the index page. This is good because also it gives us one access point to the whole website. If we want to shut down the whole website, we can just shut down the index page and the whole website is shut down. So that is a good thing because it helps to control your website. So here, everything is relative to the index page. So if I want to move to the controller folder, I have to move a folder up, go to up. So let's do that dot dot slash that's one folder up and then we are in the up folder and then slash controllers slash okay so now we are in the controllers folder we want to look for that file now what is the file name i'm going to copy this and put it here so i'll put a dot to concatenate and then i want the first item from the array because the first item will always exist regardless because we have a contingency plan there so no need to check if it exists or not, because it will always be there. And then to that file, we're going to add .php at the end to make it a PHP file. So let's say we have home, it's going to be home.php. If we have profile, it's going to be profile.php. Okay. But because these are classes, I want to use capital letters here. So let's put a capital A on app like that. It's a good practice to do that. So I'm going to say you see first this is a function come that comes with php that converts the first letter into a capital letter so you see first boom and then that so we are just trying to find if a file like this exists in the controllers okay so if file exists blah 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 let's do that here okay so if the file really does exist let's load that file so i'm just going to say include not include actually require now, the difference between include and require is that if you use include, it does basically the same thing. But the difference is that include will ignore, if it doesn't find the file, it will just continue running the, the code. But require is going to shut down the program if it can't find that file. So that's the difference. So depending on what you want to do, you use either of those. So let me do that. So we say require that file. So now we have loaded the class file. And since it's going to be a class file, we need to instantiate it just like we've instantiated this one. So we need to create an instance and load it. Now, the thing is, uh, if this file does not exist, we should load a different file. So I'm going to say else, if it doesn't exist, let's load this 404 page, right? So if that file does not exist, let me copy this again. Um, yes, I'm going to say require. Um, I'm going to require this same thing, copy. But I will change this controller because at this point, remember that controller is equal to 404, right? And I will put that here. I don't need to do UC first here. I'll just put controller. So whatever the default controller, we're going to put that there. So if we don't find the controller we want, let's load the default one. Now, this is a variable that's up here. Now, the reason I've put this up there, this is a variable. It's just a normal variable. The reason I've put it up there instead of in here is because I want it accessible to every uh, function that is in here and even other functions that will be inside um, in case I need it, I can access it from anywhere. That's why I've put it right there. 
So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Now, in order to tell it that we're talking about this variable here, not just a variable from within here or outside this scope, we'll put this as well. So I'm going to copy that and put it here. Okay, so this controller from in here, which is that one, will be right there. And let's do that. So we require that file. So at this point, we know, okay, at this point, we know that regardless what has happened, we've included at least one file. We have included either the one that we found, or if we didn't find it, we've included this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it's important to update the controller here. If we did find the file, then this becomes our new controller. So let's update that. So here we're going to say this controller, which is that controller at the top there, let's change it, is equal to, we'll change that controller name to this right there without the capital letter. So let's just put that there like so. Okay, very good. So now what we've done is if a controller file is found, we update this. It will no longer be 404. It will be maybe home or profile. And then if we don't find it, then we'll leave the 404 as it is, but include that 404 file. So that when we come to this point, we can actually make an instance of this controller. Mm -hmm. So here I'm going to say my controller now, okay, we'll just call it my controller for no reason. So my controller is equal to new this controller. Okay. So this line here, don't get confused about it. It's just like this one. The only difference is we don't know what this name will be. So we are putting in a variable. Okay. So in this case, let's say we didn't find the file we're looking for. So we've required this controller instead, the 404, and then we're going to instantiate that. But if we did find what we're looking for, then we've updated this to maybe home or profile, then we are instantiating that file. Okay, pretty good. Now, the problem we have here is that we have neither of these currently. We don't have any controller whatsoever. So that is going to be a problem. So if I try to run this, I'll get an error, of course. It's going to say call to undefined function uh, uc first. Oh, sorry, <laughs> that's the wrong error. This one is supposed to be first, not first. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's refresh and get the proper error. And you see, this is a warning. It means the, uh, the, the, the script continued even after warning us this, and then it got a fatal error, failed opening the file. Okay, so that require is good because if you don't find any of the files, then we can forget about it. So here it's saying the file it can't find is the dash 404.php. Okay, pretty good. So let's put a 404 in our controllers folder. So I'm going to right click and say new file. And here we really are just creating a class because that's what we need really. So I'll save this file as dash 404 dot php save so here now we can create a class mm -hmm. and that class will say uh, 404 class page not found that's the one we are looking for so the class name here is going to be underscore 404 like that now we need this extends but i'll remove it for now because we don't have anything to extend so let's leave it like that and there we go. So now at least we have this and it has a constructor with an argument. We don't need that argument. So let's remove that, but it's just an empty class. So we just want to get rid of that error for now because it will find the class. And so it won't complain about anything. So if I refresh now, we get an empty page, but we are in the 404 range here. So here I'm going to just echo and say page not found like this. Okay, so let's go back here and refresh. You see, page not found. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the reason the page was not found is because the controller doesn't exist, the home controller, but let's add it, shall we? So I'm going to create a new file and let's do the same thing. 
and this time I'll put a class. Let me save this first. So this one is home capital H dot PHP because it's good practice to class names should have a capital uh, thingy so you can differentiate them. And this is the home class. Okay, so same here, we're going to put home and then let's remove the extension for now. We'll add it back later. Let's remove the argument there and let's just say echo home page like that. Okay, pretty good. And let's come back and let's refresh. Now we're on the home page. You see that? Now, if let's say I type home at the end, you see home page, right? Now, let's say I type profile page, but it's not found. I get page not found. See that? How that works? Uh, go page not found. So the only page we have is the home controller. So only that page will be found. So at least we have a working router now. This is awesome. Now let's take it a step further in the next video.